What's up, people? It's Robert Reed again. Um, so, I've been watching uh, YouTube with, you know, your guys' uh, views and stuff. Actually, I'm actually really surprised, considering that the Dark Souls video I have is only eight minutes long, and there's there's a lot of, like, a lot of light, a lot of views on it, you know? Uh, again, I'm still kind of getting, you know, used to all this stuff, and you know, learning it and trying to figure out, you know, where I want to go with this. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting up more uh, Dark Souls videos. Uh, you know, so that really, you know, um, yeah, so. Um, also, guys, you know, nowadays, too, everyone's got a Facebook, everyone's got a Twitter. You can find me both. Uh, it's uh, Robert Reed on Twitter and on uh, Facebook, you know, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm all over the place, so don't be afraid, don't be afraid to, you know, search for me and then, uh, you know, hook up with me through that if you want, um, you know, again, this is all about uh, meeting people and experiencing you guys and, you know, connecting with you, so, um, you know, feel free to, again, you know, the Facebook is Robert James Reed at facebook.com. And then there's, uh, you know, my Twitter, which is, uh, again, Robert James Reed. I don't, I'm not doing much to hide my real name. I don't really care at this point. Um, it pretty much looks like, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to navigate the situation and make it make it my own, basically. Like, I'm really, really excited, really happy. You know, hair doesn't look as bad as it did yesterday uh, or the other day. Um, again, as far as I'm, as far as I'm planning on right now, these are going to be as sporadic and, you know, not far and few in between, but pretty, pretty, pretty in between. Um, yeah, you know, just doing my normal thing. Usually this is, what I have time to do. I literally sit here all day and do nothing. You know, again, not that I don't do anything because I got three kids I got to take care of, Paul, James, and Garrett. Yep. Um, I had out with a really good friend of mine the other yesterday, and it really opened up my eyes to the possibilities of uh, things not having to stay the same. That, you know, people are get mad, and they stay mad for a little while, but if they are reasonable about the pain and about where it comes from and about how serious the situation is, then they don't, obviously people need time to, uh, to get over their pain and their feelings and their, you know, their, I guess their desire to hate you. But uh, I had a friend yesterday who I thought for sure hated me for the longest time. And turns out that, you know, everything's good. So, you know, I feel good about that. I feel good about having someone from, you know, I want to say my past, but like my immediate past anyway, uh, that is, that can show, that shows me that, um, that they're still there, you know, and it's always good to be able to roll back and feel like there's, there's someone there who, who wants you to be there. I had a really good time with that. I had a really good time with, you know, just spending time with him and, you know, getting that stuff together. So, um, and it's always good. There's always a sense of pride when something like that comes together and you don't have to spend a lot of time, um, you know, getting it together. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like you put a lot of, I feel like I put a lot of effort into planning things and the fallout is greater because of the fact that I put so much time into planning, uh, so much stuff. So I get a lot, you know, you get a lot, you get really disappointed when it doesn't work out, especially after all the effort that you put into, uh, to making it work. So in the end, it, it just, it makes me feel like that, 
some things just kind of have to let fly and let let be. And if they happen, they happen. If they don't, don't. I have a really big problem with that where I have to where I re- get really worried about, oh, is this going to happen? Is this going to be a huge thing? Is this going to be a, you know, what, what's going to happen? What can I do to preemptively stop that situation from happening? Um, and then a lot of times I don't really recognize when I overdo it. <laughs> But again, that's a lot of problems I think we all have is that we all get kind of worried about the what ifs and the the let's fix it before it happens kind of thing. Um, I don't really, I don't know, like I said, I, I, I'm guilty of it because I do it myself. But it's hard. It's hard to put your faith completely in something and then not have it work out the way you think it's going to, or have it it work out the way that you saw it working out in your head. And I think that's what a lot of our problems are, is that our anticipation and our our idea about what the situation should be is, um, is what skews our view of actually, uh, you know, getting through when when it doesn't work out the way that we want because we had to have this picture in our head and the way that it was supposed to work out and it just doesn't. And sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it didn't. And, you know, you have to roll with those punches. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be what you want it to be. It just means that it's going to work out differently. Um, yeah, so. But, yeah, most, you know, yeah, there's not really too much exciting going on in my day right now. Um, again, once I get a camera and get that all set up and going, there'll be more of these vlogs and just Rob chilling out in his little t-shirt. Like my t-shirt, this is a cool t-shirt. But uh, it's, uh, I think it's a Red Cross t-shirt. A heartwarming experience. Yeah, it's a Red Cross. That's cool. Red Cross is awesome. Yeah, see, 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 see. Not a sponsor. I'd like to sponsor, but not sponsor. Red Cross, hit it up if you want. Um, yeah, so, yeah, for most most of the time, I'm kind of, like, indifferent to what I can do with this because I want this to be, you know, a fun experience for everybody. And I want people to come here, and I want them to be able to see some stuff that they want to see versus stuff that, I do all the time. Like I know people want to see what I do all the time and that's fine. And I'm going to be more up to share that with people once I get the equipment to do that. Um, you know, God, I always feel like this thing is like, it's always like to the one side or the other. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't know. I feel like it's uneven. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if it looks uneven. Tell me if it looks bad. Tell me if it looks good. Tell me, tell me, tell me something. Tell me something. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see a little bit about myself. Um, I worked at McDonald's for 14 years. I worked at, uh, at a McDonald's in North Canaan, uh, Connecticut. Uh, and if you guys have ever gone there. So <laughs> I hear, I hear it has the same problems as it used to have versus you know and not much has changed uh i love those people to death nothing against them nothing against anything that you know happened down there when i was there let all that all that stuff go years ago don't even care anymore um but yeah i'm i'm it hurts me to hear a lot of the bad things people say about that place because when when i was there we were doing a very good job about getting uh, getting some of that stuff under control, and now it just seems to be floundering out of control. So it is what it is. I guess it really comes down to the de- dedication of the managers and people who you really want, who, who are running the shift in order to, you know, do it. So, um, but it is what it is. You know, I just want to, you know, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't want to say that I want to like say my feelings about it because I really don't care. I don't have any feelings about it. I'm not, you know what I mean? It's been so many years at this point that I don't have any feelings about it. Um, yeah, you know, in the most part, they're 
there were some good times. There were some bad times. There were some bad mistakes. There were some good mistakes. You know, it's the circle of life at that point. Um, yeah. So let's see. What else can I say about me? Um, yep. I'm just, I'm just a happy guy. I'm down to earth. I'm open up to plenty of options. I'm, I love meeting new people. Love meeting new people. I always have that, that try to keep that, that freshness in my life where I'm constantly meeting people and I'm constantly trying, well, I'm trying to constantly meet people. I find it so hard nowadays to go out and meet people because uh, you end up getting stuck in your own little groups and it seems like once those groups deteriorate past the point of even being your group, that you're kind of left, you know, like, have you ever felt like when people change that they expect you to change like either in the same direction or in some sort of, you know, some sort of flow with the group and never on your own and doing your own individual growth. And I think we, I think as people, we lose that when we get sucked into the group, into a group mentality is that we, we really lose our own individual thought of, wow, I have to be, I have to be myself too. And, that, and balancing that out, um, you know, but it, it, it is what it is. It's, it's hard. I find mostly when I'm, when I'm in a group that my group of friends, like they really tag me as the, the quiet type. So, well, he can get adjusted. He, he's easily adjusted to what, you know, what fits the situation. Um, you know, and because of that, I really don't really try and go out and meet people in public too much. I'm more of a stay at home behind the camera kind of guy which actually works out pretty well. Um, you know, like I said, I really want to, like, again, I want to connect with you guys. I want to know what you think. So feel free to leave all kinds of comments and anything in the comments. Um, yeah. But anyway, no, mostly just, you know, I'm, I'm a fun down to earth guy. I, you know, I chill out. I actually spend too much time chilling out. Because if I had more friends who readily wanted to hang out and do things, I think I would get out more. But my problem is to trust someone enough, you know, especially right off the bat, where that kind of situation could happen is is kind of hard for me. But I've been working on it. I'm not I'm not a complete shut in or anything like that. I just like to have a, a place to go, a, you know, not really a time limit, but a time frame to be in and then, you know, come back. <clears throat> so, and then of that, I really think that it's important that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people don't really understand why it's so compartmentalized and why I try to keep things. Okay. I got to do this. I got to do this. It's so much easier to know what I'm doing in my life than it is to guess, you know, and it's, um, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough to leave things to the wind and to leave things to chance because I feel like if you give people the opportunity to do evil, that's all they'll do. And it scares me in a way. But I'm getting over it. Not everyone is like that. Not everyone is a horrible, you know, I'm going to come to your house and murder you kind of type. So, um, yeah. But um, for the most part, I just, I chill. I try to take care of my kids. I do the best I can. Uh, within the realm that I'm allowed to be in right now. And hopefully by talking to you guys and keeping this this thing going, I'm going to learn how to, you know, apply this to, you know, real life and actually be able to, you know, uh, you know, just be outside. And, you know, not that I don't go outside because I do. It's just that you know, prolonged experiences with larger groups is 
mainly my problem right now. And I just, uh, it's weird because, like, people are like, oh, you don't give people chances, you don't give people chances. Well, unfortunately, you're giving people chances even up to this point, and you're giving people chance, so many chances, you get tired of being hurt, and you're tired of being hurt by the people closest to you. And that's, that's the thing that really k kills me the most, is that, most of the pain that I felt throughout my life has been from people who I've allowed in past the friend point to to be involved in my intimate intimate workings of my life, and you know I've gotten screwed over for it. You know, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that you know past relationships and things like that. I don't put that all on my exes. You know, there were things that I did that were my fault. There were things that they did that were their fault. It's up to them to admit to it and feel whatever they want to feel about it. I'm not trying to push anybody to feel anything. I'm not trying to make anybody feel anything. I'm, uh, again, you're going to find out one thing about me is that I'm very open and very honest, okay? There's no point in trying to lie to anybody because eventually they're going to find it anyway, and they're going to be upset about it. So there's no point. You know, you might as well just tell them straight out in the beginning, so then that way, there's no, there's no secrets to hide, and there's no secrets to dig. You know, obviously there are some things that aren't going to be, uh, you know, right there on the surface, but at least there's the truth. If you were to come to me and say, hey, Rob, you know, this is what we heard you, say, you saying about us, what's going on, I'll tell you, what do I care? Obviously, if I said it and got back to you, then it needs to be addressed. Um, I try not to talk about people behind their back. It's it's not a perfected art, but it's still something that I don't do. I, I don't go out of my way to do. Like in conversation with someone, I'll say something, but I don't sit there and like we all go through our own struggles. We all go through our own things where we all feel like the victim. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in order to get past that, yeah, I, I mean, there are some things where I feel like the victim, too. But my, my things come from, like, you know, the nights my, my wife forgets to do the dishes or, you know, the laundry gets piled up, something like that, okay? Real-world problems and real-world things, you, you can't, you have to be the victim. You can't, you know, there has to be a person who is the who is causing the problem and then there has to be a victim to it you know so granted you don't have to go out of your way and hate everybody and you know skew your hate and you know just say horrible horrendous things to people because you have an outlet to do so on um but you have to realize that there are going to be people who aren't going to feel the same way that you do and who are going to be able to voice that to you you know, it doesn't make them right. It doesn't make them wrong. It doesn't make you right or wrong. The point is, is that if you say something with a mean intent, then you can pretty much tell. And you can pretty much tell what the mean intent is and where it's going. And, you know, common logic would dictate that you would be able to, you know, address that appropriately. Because I find that the more you draw attention to people who are doing bad things, the less they're interested in in trying to fix those bad things and now not only that but now you've now exposed yourself as a person who yeah you're not gonna put up with their shit and you're gonna talk to whoever you can about it but that kind of gives them the the upper hand on the idea that oh he he knows what i'm doing he's telling everyone so all i gotta do is just change that you know we are we are a society of manipulating people <laughs> And we all can do some pretty shitty things to each other. Um, so it's just about finding friends who are close to you, who think and feel the same way. You, not really the same way, but pretty close to the same way that you can, that you feel and do things. And your life will be smooth. It really will. It's all about what stuff you bring up, bring to the table. And it's not. It's not that, again, trust is a hard thing 
to earn once you've lost it. Hey, there are plenty of people who I don't trust and I don't particularly care about. And unfortunately, due to the proximity and the the uh, pretty much just the proximity of which I live with them, uh, makes it a little hard. It makes it a little hard knowing that they're there and knowing that they're still out there and knowing that they're not ever going to change and they're not ever going to be your friend and they're not ever going to be the people that you thought they were in the beginning. Um, it hurts. It hurts because when you live with that, that desire and that, that need for people to be that, to be honest, to be upfront, to tell you what, how it is in the first place. Uh, and you don't get that. That really, that really kills. You know, I just don't understand why people can't just say one thing and then let it be that. Okay. Like, you know, you're going to find yourself in more of a pickle if your whoever you're talking to finds out what you're saying to them is a lie. You know, and that's just like what's the point in all of that? All you did was prolong the anger, which made them angrier. Like so anyway, um yeah. Again, I'm going to go, this is going to be like, again, I'm, these next couple ones are going to be test. I'm just going to try and, you know, you know, I like to see what, you know, what comes out of this, you know, uh, maybe there'll be like one or two Dark Souls videos before, you know, I come back with the, this vlog thing again. <laughs> uh, I will, like I said, you know, guys hanging with me, hanging there. I'm trying my best here to get things going and get things uh, set up and looking good. This is my bedroom wall, by the way. Uh, so just hang in there with me as much as you can, and I promise that it's gonna it's gonna get better. And I'm gonna do as much as I can to get people to, you know, I'll do my part, you do your part, like, share, do whatever it is you gotta do. Subscribe, tell your friends, tell your turtles, tell your you know, tell your bullies. Um, but I'm, I'm here, I'm going to stick with this no matter what happens. So, uh, you should definitely, you should definitely do this. And, uh, again, like subscribe. I'm just going to remind you again, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Twitter. Um, you know, I'm really excited. Just, just do me a favor. If you're going to follow and you're going to, you know, be friends with me on Facebook, please just be friends with me on Facebook. Don't get on my Facebook or on my Twitter and then be like, oh, if you like my video, I'll like your video. Like, really, how, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like this shouldn't be a thing where we're like, I'll do for you if you do for me. I'll do for you. It's not that. It's just that. When I'm told to do something, to get something, then I'm pretty much going to be disinclined to do it altogether because I'm not interested in doing something for somebody who only wants me to do something for them. So I appreciate the time you guys take out of your day to watch these videos and to see what's going on. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I probably might pop up another Dark Souls episode or something like that. Who knows? Not, again, they're not really episodes. Again, my PlayStation 4 mic is horrendous, so I can't really, like, I can't record commentary on there. You know what I mean? Like, this is this is just the webcam off a laptop, so it's not like you can just take it off and, you know, figure it out from there. Um, so <clears throat> what, we, what I'd like to do is just get some of your opinions, get some of your, you know, your feedback a little bit. Uh, you know, I noticed that, you know, about 35 people watched my last video and that's pretty cool. Uh, but I only got one comment. I mean, again, I'm not begging for comments or anything, but if you guys want to interact and you want to know things and you want to know specific things, or you want to know whatever, uh, you know, feel free, feel free to send me in a direction, feel free to send me in anything, send me, you know, uh, comments and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all the stuff that you know the normal YouTuber has, and we're gonna we're gonna do this and see where this goes and see where you know this takes us, and hopefully we can 
this is this will be good. So, uh, all right. In the most part, that was all I really wanted to say. Uh, again, these things are going to get a lot more detailed and a lot better as I go along. I just got to get along with it. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, you guys know how to get a hold of me now. Again, on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, and then anything beyond that right now, I, I, don't, I don't do anything beyond that. So we're going to stick with those. See what happens from there. Uh, but yeah, just hook it up. I'm probably friends with somebody you're friends with. Who knows? But uh, all right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. You know, it's going to be great. All right. Thanks a whole bunch. And I hope that you guys take care of each other. And I hope that you see, uh, I hope to see some some action within the comments and within, you know, the Facebooks and the, the Facebook and the uh, Twitter and so on and so forth. So if you want to, yeah, cool. Alrighty, then I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later and thanks a lot. Bye.